Talahar Sniper, so I've got a sort of rolling montage here on the Talahar marking map, using the M40A5 as my primary, M1911 as my secondary, and of course a crossbow in my backpack somewhere. Now honestly, and this may surprise you, I really do struggle with the M40A5. There's a lot of people like it because it's got the fastest fire rate of all of the bolt action snipers and a pretty decent bullet speed to be honest. But I just don't like the way it sits on the screen and it does take up a lot of the screen across there as well compared to like the uh, the M98B or the JNG90. Two rifles which I prefer a lot more mainly because they look like they actually point to the center of the screen. And when I'm scoping in on people that really does make a huge difference for me. Now if you're somebody who just uses the crosshairs or you whack a dot of blue tack in the middle of the screen like I know a lot of people do, it's probably not going to bother you. But, you know, just my personal preference, I think those other snipers are better. This map here though, Talahar Market, I think it's one of my favourite ones. It's really good on Conquest because it's quite open. Rush, some of the bases can be a little bit of a mess because of where the, the objectives are positioned. But I, I guess if you wanted some tips on playing this map, I'd have to say always go down the left hand side sort of where I was looking, in fact where I'm going now, because you have excellent cover all the way across, and if you can shut off the enemy from coming down from the top end of this street, then you're going to be able to plant the objectives really easily. Thought I'd just say as well, I really do like how immersive the aftermath maps are, I, it's got such a Black Hawk Down kind of feel this map, which I've never really got in any of the maps in Battlefield 3 up to this point, up to Aftermath. Now, I was playing Epicenter yesterday, shooting out from behind some rubble, and it just made me feel so much like I was in Saving Private Ryan. It was, uh, it was really, really good. Oh, knife that poor little Bambi in his nest. I ought to have used the crossbow. In fact, I learnt some stats today about the crossbow which may interest you if, if you haven't I mean if you've most people have probably unlocked them all now if you want to know how to switch between bolts after you've unlocked the two types of crossbow the one with the cobra sight and one with the scope sight you basically press the V key uh, it's the select weapon key if you've changed those around and then it'll just switch over to the other bolts you've unlocked because I know I unlocked the high explosive bolt and I was like well it's not showing up but that's that's how you get it no clue what this guy was doing honestly dirt meter of over 9000 that poor little fella <laughs> But uh, the crossbow bolts, basically the normal one does 100 to 60 damage and it gets less than 100 damage at 20 meters. Uh, so up to 20 meters from the waist and up, it will basically kill in one shot, that's the normal bolt. The BA bolt never kills in one shot unless it's a headshot and that does 80 to 50 damage. The sonic, the sonic shot basically shows the enemies at the time that the bolt hits the floor that are in the vicinity. So it doesn't work like an MAV and just constantly scope out whoever's there. Honestly, I don't think it would be overpowered if it did do, but it doesn't do that, so you have to keep refiring if you want to know where people are. The explosive bolt uh, is good against helicopters. It's good for destroying walls. Against tanks, it does basically between 8% damage. Well, zero damage because reactive armor stops it. But uh, it does 8% damage if you hit the front. I think it goes up to about 27% damage if you hit dead on the side of a tank destroyer or something like that. So, no, they're kind of alright. In fact, I think you're about to see me use the explosive bolt here. Overall, I still think that the only class where you get a significant advantage with using the crossbow is with the, the recon class, which incidentally, I read they buffed in the last patch because they'd made it easier to get some of the achievements. So, hopefully that'll sort of balance out the recon score per minute in the near future to somewhere near the assault score per minute because the assault class is just, if you look at the stats, way ahead of every other class in terms of the score that the average player gets per minute. On to some other interesting but non-Battlefield 3 related news. Valve is bringing out a new console supposedly this summer, so about five months before the PS4 and the Xbox 720 are predicted to come out, which is just before December 2013, which is going to compete with those consoles. I guess the real question is whether or not people are going to move away from their favourite current console, you know, whether they like PlayStation or Xbox or whatever at the moment, to go to a pretty much completely unknown console manufacturer, even if Valve is particularly big with PC games and makes great PC games, will people actually make the move? And it's going to be interesting to see. I know a lot of people play on consoles because their friends play on certain consoles, and it's kind of a big organizing thing getting all your friends to move on to a Valve console if it isn't compatible with an Xbox or a PS3. So, I don't know whether it's going to cut it or not. That's the main news. I thought I'd end this video with a sort of question and answer about some things which people have asked me in private messages. I'm just going to select a few. I do get a lot of messages, so if I don't respond and it's something important, then, you know, do send a couple of messages because I literally cannot read through them all anymore. 
Firstly, what's my PC setup? And what do I record with? With my PC setup, everything you need to know is in the video linked at the end of this called GTX 690 Review. So you'll see some video of my PC, whatever, I'm going to post it at the same time as this. So if you're interested, check that out. What do I record with? Well, on console, because I've just bought a PS3 so that I can... Uh, I can play a little bit of The Last of Us when that comes out in May, and also GTA V, which is going to be freaking brilliant. I think that both of those games are going to be brilliant, actually. Uh, but I use the Elgato Game Capture HD for that, because it's got the highest bitrate, so it should be better than the HD PVR, but I haven't recorded much with it yet. On PC, I use DX Story. I've tried for apps MSI Afterburner, but I still think DX Story is the best overall. But you do have to pay £30 for it, and Afterburner is, of course, free. Second question, and this is one of the more interesting ones I got this week, so I thought, well, why not go for it? I'll read it out to you. I'm not going to tell you who it's by or it'll be embarrassing for them, but um, well, basically, they, this was a private message that said, Could I get some advice, please? Not YouTube related. Hey, this might seem a little strange coming from a subscriber to a game YouTuber, but I was wondering if you could help me with a girl problem. There's this girl in my biology class that I really like, and we talk quite a bit in biology. She snowboards like me. She's really funny and has a great personality. And on top of that, she's beautiful. However, there's another guy that sits on the other side of her who's always flirts with her. And really, I have no idea if she's flirting back. I'm not good at reading girls. So my problem is, should I ask her out? If she says no, then the next seven months of biology will be super, super awkward. Any help would be appreciated. Thanks so much for your time, smiley face. So, it looks like we've got a Bambi in need. I can help with this. I split the question up into three parts. First part, reading girls. This is actually quite easy. If you have any doubt whatsoever whether or not they're interested, they really aren't. If you're at school, like our Bambi in need here is, then you've actually got an advantage, because that girl will have friends, and if she thinks you're cute, and I'll get into what cute means in a second, then she will definitely have told her friends, and you will hear at some point on the grapevine that that is the case. This kind of leads on to the second part of the question, which is, if a girl is interested, what is she actually interested in? This is also quite simple. A lot of confusion is caused because girls tend to use words which guys don't really understand, like cute. Now, when a girl says that a guy is cute, she's not actually saying it in the sense that she thinks a bunny rabbit is cute, but rather that she'd like to sit on that. True story, bro. No, it <laughs> it really is. I'm not even kidding about that. Uh, there was a survey recently where there were like a thousand men, women, 50% of each, and they all had to draw what they thought their perfect woman and man was. So the women had to draw a man and a woman, and the men had to draw a man and a woman. And they were all almost exactly the same, which was sort of like a healthy looking athletic build. So this is still only really half the story though, and it kind of gets me onto the, the third part of the question, which is that what should you actually, personality-wise, be like? How should you treat girls? Well, this is kind of the most confusing part, because it's not something you understand when you're like our Bambi in need is at school, because the fact of the matter is, most 13 to 16-year-olds are dicks. It's like human nature. Where do you think all the trolls on the internet come from? So it's kind of hard to tell at that age, because most girls are also dicks. Best advice I can give you is treat them like you would your sister, the idea being that you don't want to hit that. If you do, you've got bigger problems, but it should help you act naturally for the vast majority of people. Well, being an agony art hasn't nearly made me run out of time, so thanks for watching. If you'd leave me a rating, comment, it's much appreciated, and I'll see you guys in the next chapter.